Hold, hold, hold. LC switch not ready. Flight control got to hold at approximately T minus 46 seconds. T minus 28 seconds. ETS reboot for launch. Roger. 25 seconds. Status check. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. Go AEHF 6. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. We have ignition and liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket with AEHF-6 on the first mission for the United States Space Force. Beginning with pitch over program. Passing 15 seconds for the flight. PU has gone to close loop control. The RD-180 is throttling down to 67% thrust as expected. Engine response looks good. Passing 30 seconds into flight. 35 seconds into flight, Mach 1, Atlas 5 is now supersonic. Engine operating parameters look nominal. Passing 45 seconds into flight, passing through max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. The RD-180 is throttling back up to 94% as expected. Engine response looks good. Coming up on one minute into flight, SRB chamber pressures remain nominal at this time. The vehicle is uh, 10 miles in altitude. Uh, six miles downrange, traveling at 2,300 miles per hour. Seventy-five seconds into flight, the RD-180 is throttling to 75% thrust as expected. Standing by, standing by for SRB sh burnout shortly. And we have burnout on all five SRBs. The RD-180 is being throttled back up to full thrust following SRB burnout. Standing by for SRB jettison shortly. And we have jettison of all five SRBs. The vehicle has gone to closed loop guidance. Passing two minutes into flight, the RD-180 uh, pump speed and fuel injector pressures remain nominal. Uh, PU con continues to drive mass errors towards zero. The vehicle is now 40 miles in altitude, uh, 56 miles downrange, traveling at 5,000 miles per hour. Coming up on two and a half minutes into flight, approximately two minutes left until Pico. And the RD-180 is now throttling to maintain a constant 2.5 G acceleration, and the Centaur reaction control system is now pressurizing to flight levels. Vehicle body rates remain nominal at this point in flight, and PU continues to operate nominally as well. And the vehicle is now 65 miles in altitude, 140 miles downrange, traveling at 7,500 miles per hour. Standing by for payload fairing jettison shortly. And we have good indication of payload fairing jettison and we have Centaur forward load re reactor deck jettison. Pico is in approximately one minute. The RD-180 is throttling back up to 95% thrust as expected. Uh, engine response continues to look good. And the RD-180 is now throttling to maintain a constant 4.6 G acceleration limit. And we have the beginning of the boost phase chill down for on the RL-10 to thermally condition the second stage engine for operation. Standing by for Pico shortly. We 
We have the end of boost phase chill down. And we have Beco booster engine cutoff. And we have good Atlas Centaur separation. We have indication of pre-start on the RL-10. Standing by for MES-1. And we have ignition on the RL-10. Seeing good response from RL-10 operating parameters and Centaur body rates at the beginning of the burn. Uh, congratulations to the Aerojet Rocketdyne team, RL-10 team, as today's mission marks the flight of the 500th production RL-10 engine. 